Disney's River Country Water Park closed its doors for good in 2001. And while 9-11 and declining numbers have been blamed for the park's closure, three separate tragic incidents in the 80s are believed to have played a role. Welcome to the Crafty Cryptid, a channel dedicated to the dark, the strange, and the mysterious. If you enjoy this type of content, subscribe and ding the notification bell. I have been posting multiple times every week during the year of 2021. For today's video, since I have pre-recorded this as my husband and I are currently on vacation in Disney World, I thought it was only appropriate to discuss the creepy abandoned water park on the Disney World campus and why it actually closed down. Disney's River Country was the first water park at Walt Disney World. River Country was located along the shores of Bay Lake and near Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground. The park was themed as a rustic, old-fashioned swimming hole. It opened on June 20th of 1976 and closed indefinitely on November 2nd of 2001. With the Walt Disney Company later announcing on January 20th of 2005 that the park would remain closed permanently. This made the water park the second of only two Disney parks in the company's history to close permanently, with nearby Discovery Island on the lake closing in 1999. With an original working title of Pop's Willow Grove, River Country featured a rustic wilderness theme and since its abandonment, the Earth has begun to take over the park, providing us with chilling photos that I will be showing you throughout this video. When the park opened in 1976, it was extremely popular, drawing in thousands of people every day. But in 1980, the first of three tragedies would strike River Country leaving the park with a ghostly and disturbing history. On Thursday, August 28th of 1980, an Associated Press story appeared in newspapers throughout North America. Orlando, Florida, AP. A rare but deadly disease caused by an amoeba found in Florida freshwater lakes, has claimed its fourth victim. A New York youngster who spent his vacation swimming at Walt Disney World's River Country. The disease, amoebic meningoencephalitis, attacks the nervous system and brain, doctors say. It killed two Florida children earlier this month and appears to have been the cause of the death of another youngster, a state official said. The latest death was that of an 11-year-old boy who visited the Orlando area during the first week of August and swam at the water attraction at Disney World, said Dr. John McGarry, director of the Orange County Health Department. The child died after the amoeba entered through his nose went through the nasal passage and attacked the nervous system, including the brain, said Dr. Robert Gunn, state epidemiologist. The boy, who was not identified by New York or Florida health authorities, died last Friday. The other deaths referenced in this article occurred outside of the park but in relatively the same area, which is how Disney managed to escape blame. The AP article continued. The two officials, Voss and McGarry, said there was no reason to blame Disney World for the tragedy, 
because the amoeba can breed in almost any freshwater lake during hot weather. Officials have said there is no epidemic of the disease in central Florida, where all four cases were detected. Disney officials said there wasn't much they could do. We are of course concerned and sensitive to any potential health or safety hazards to our guests, said Disney spokesman Charles Ridgway. I don't know of any action that could be taken as a result of this. Ridgway emphasized that Disney World conducts a thorough program of water quality control in cooperation with health officials. Not only did River Country not close immediately after the boy's death, it remained open another 21 years. However, at some point in the 1990s, Walt Disney World banned swimming in its lakes. There was never another death from amoebic meningoencephalitis linked to River Country, but there were two drownings. A child named Howard A. Puepke, 14, of Erie, North Dakota, in 1982, and Christopher Staff, 13, of Longwood, Florida, in 1989. These deaths, however, are not what Disney cites as the reasons why the park closed. After the September 11th terrorist attacks in America, in the year 2001, tourism declined significantly. Disney shut down River Country due to this lack of tourism, and eventually announced that the water park would never open again. Given that they now had two other water parks that were much more popular and had more features than River Country. Some think that excuse was merely just a cover up for what Disney did not want to discuss. The fact that River Country's lakes could actually still be poisonous to this day. Seth Lawless, an independent photographer, interviewed workers who operate Bay Lake and says they revealed the lake is too dangerous to swim in. The workers are reported to have said Disney boats and the nightly fireworks polluted the lake, making any fish caught there poisonous. Could this be the real reason why Disney does not want to reopen River Country? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. There are many more tragic and mysterious cases that happened at Disney World and Disneyland. So if you would like to see more of this type of video, please tell me. I hope you enjoyed today's story. To be updated when I post next, subscribe and ding the notification bell. I will be dropping my posting schedule down to once a week, beginning in January, but I will always have more spine-tingling and just plain bizarre stories to share with you. Thank you for watching, and come back soon, cryptids.